Hello everyone and welcome to another interesting tutorial in Python. This is very useful if you are a researcher or let's say you are a student and you are creating a PowerPoint presentation where you need to show some equation but maybe uh, you do not have access to the plugins and other tools that you need to create like the equation or mathematical expression but you know to use Python. So what you can do you can generate PNG files that you can easily implement anywhere in any document so that you don't worry uh, about the formatting and so on. So let's see how we can easily create PNG files using Python by also maintaining the LaTeX formatting. So we'll just create a sample code with an equation and later on you can modify the code to create your own equation and generate the files. So at first what we need to do is we need to import the package that is used to create this uh, format. So we will start by writing import sub process. Okay. So what this does is it imports the sub process module which allows you to spawn new processes connect to their input output error pipeline and obtain their return codes. Now in the next line what we will do we will create the LaTeX content for the equation. So let me just comment it out so that you can easily understand what is going on. So we will write LaTeX code here and now we will write LaTeX uh, content. So all the code will be here in the latex content. So you'll write equal to and then we will write the code basically the latex code that we are writing. So here latex content defines a string variable containing the latex code for the equation. It uses a triple coated raw string to allow multi-line uh, string definition without escaping special character. So what we will do, we will write R and then triple quotation and then we will write enter and here we can write the command. So we will write document class let's say we will do it a uh, standalone And then we'll use package math AMS MATH and then we'll begin the document. And we'll begin the equation. Okay, so now we can write the equation. So let's say we'll just label this label and we'll write EQ This is just for labeling purpose and then we'll write the equation. So R of T is equal to a these are just lattic formatting okay this is nothing crazy left and we'll open the first bracket and then we'll write fraction we'll use the second bracket e underscore zero for subscript and then we'll have the other fraction row underscore zero and then we'll have write and we'll have the power again second bracket one by five then we have t to the power second bracket and two by five and then we'll write end equation 
and then again and document okay so this part is done till now what we have done we have imported the sub process we have written the latex code within the latex content okay now the next part is to save it in a file so here we will write how to save the code we will write with open we will write the file name so we will write equation dot text comma and then we will write w i'll just write and then explain what is going on okay and now we will write f dot write latex content okay so this is now done so let me explain till now what is going on so document class standalone specifies the document class as standalone which creates a separate image for each equation okay now ams math loads the package that provides the feature for typesetting mathematical equation after that we have done begin document basically it uh, makes the beginning of the document body and then we have written the equation so with open equation dot text w as f opens the file name equation dot text in write mode and assign it to the variable f the with statement ensures that the file is properly closed after writing okay so as soon as the content is written the file will get closed so the next part is to compile the latex file into dvi so this is compile text to dvi okay so we will write sub process dot run we'll open and close the bracket we'll open and close the third bracket okay sorry i made a mistake and now we'll write latex comma then we'll write interaction equal to non-stop mode do not worry i will explain what is going on just follow along and then we we'll write the file name so file name is equation dot text right so this is done okay so let's see what is going on so basically this runs the latex command to compile the latex file that is equation dot text the interaction non-stop mode flag tells the latex not to stop for user input in case of an error so let's say you are writing a complicated code and something went wrong so basically it will uh, not stop and flag an error it will just try to compile the process so now we'll try to convert the dvi to png so this is basically convert to png and we'll write sub process dot run first bracket third bracket and we'll write dvi png then we'll write minus t we will write tight and then we will write minus d then 300 so let me just explain before i complete my writing so the dvi command is used to convert the dvi to png as the command suggests now 
minus T tight ensures that the image has minimal uh, white space and D300 is basically the uh, DP DPI settings okay so after this we will write minus O so minus O specifies the output file name okay and then we will write the file name so equation dot png you can write whatever you want but this is what we have so equation dot png and then we'll write the dvi file name so equation dot dvi so we are almost done and now uh, we can just print so png file equation dot png uh, has been generated okay so this is just for convenience now, now let's see if this file is running so i'll just click on uh, run and see if this works okay so i'll click on run see something is going on So you can see that I have the equation PNG file and all the text file and the DVI file that are generated. So this is how you create a PNG LaTeX equation using Python. Hope this helps. If it did, please do subscribe to this channel for more quality videos. And majority of the viewers are not subscribed. So please do subscribe to support my work. And thank you.